I'm in. Hello there, back again. Uh, this, in today's video, we're going to be talking about um, about rods and reels and uh, setups. This basically is going to be a video for uh, for beginners. So if you've um, if you've been fishing for years, it's probably probably not going to be for you at all. You might you might you might still want to watch it anyway. But this is basically for people who who are starting lure fishing because um, I quite often get um, questions asking me about uh, equipment and uh, like rods and reels and things like that because um, obviously people think that you know. <laughs> I've got a tackle shop or something, but I actually haven't. All I've got is my Zolts, my Major Craft Zolts that I use all the time. I don't really, uh, I haven't really got loads of rods. I've got a couple of other little crappy ones, you know what I mean, that, are, that, that, have, that have done me all right in the past. I mean, one of them is about bloody 35 quid, I think I got that for, and that's, that's great. I've got some quite good fish on that. But that was um, the thing with that, all the, rod, all the bloody rod eyes ended up, corroding and snapping off and I snapped it twice I snapped it actually the day I got it I walked out to the house and the, the actual rod tip got stuck in the top of the door because I wasn't looking what I was doing and it snapped off the end but luckily enough it was right on the end so I could take the uh, the end rod eye off and actually put it back on again so it's a bit funny but it's still you know it was 35 quid I mean if I'd have spent 600 quid on a bloody I don't know for Dio or whatever they're called, I don't know if they cost them what cost of Dio or cost a lot of money rods, then uh, I would have been a bit pissed off. Right, so this is basically for beginners. Uh, a couple of other things, uh, quickly on the old lure front, I've got a couple of lures, I don't know if anybody's heard of this um, firm, it's called Hunt House, these, I got these off eBay, I'll tell you what I was looking at, I've seen a video about, about using needlefish basically, and um, I thought I'd give them a go, but I just, I'll tell you why, because I actually put in eBay needle fishing just to see what would come up with, and these are uh, Hunt House, so if anybody's uh, used these, let me know, you know, Hunt House, I'll tell you the reason why, my method behind my madness, is the fact that I was going to use these, they're both floating lures, these patterns, they're obviously, there's other ones, but when it's weedy, when that green weed's around, it's a bloody nightmare. I've done I've done another video about it before, you know, about the about you know getting the caught cool, how how to actually fish in the weed. I'm not saying it's it's a surefire way of of fishing because you know as soon as you start reading, you're just bunged up with green weed. But the, the plan was is to um actually float the lure in the tide. You know, we did mention that in the video, and that that was what that seemed to work a little bit. But we we was using soft plastic. But however, my mate was he was floating, letting them go along the tide with surface lures, and was catching some pretty good fish too. So that was um so that was that. And they're, they're ever so cheap, but I've never really, I've never heard of them. Hunt House. I've never whether they're any good or not. The other thing is, we've now got a Facebook group. Bassmasters Elite UK that you can uh, join if you if you want to. As if we like, yeah. No, I'm only joking. Anybody can join. Um, so obviously that way, like this sort of topic. I mean, I'm doing this uh, video. This this is going to be a uh, lure fishing guy. It's a lure fishing for under two hundred pounds. Start up for under two hundred pounds. Hopefully, hopefully it works. I haven't really even worked it out yet. I'm <laughs> just just figuring roughly what you know. What's going to happen? Anyway, let's get in the video. Don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to check out the Facebook group. And if you want to join, then you do. Because that way we can all ask each other. I don't know something. Sometimes people ask questions. I don't know all the answers. Like I said about the rods, you know. I don't know. I've even had someone turn up at my house thinking it was a fishing tackle shop. And it's definitely not. So there we go. Let's get into the video. Uh, we're going <coughs> to... Obviously, look for. Remember, this is a, a big, totally for beginners guide. For like, I say, for under maybe lure setup for under two hundred pounds. So, right, the first port of call we're going to go to um, Veal's Mail Order. Right then. Now, I'd already found this one earlier. This is this is rod number one. This is the H two O Glide Walker. 27 meter 10 to 30 grams now that bit is pretty important now i'd say that's 
pretty good. I think on my Zolts, I'll just have a quick little look. I think it's 15 to 42 grams, I think. Am I right? Yeah, 15 to 42 grams. But that's still all right. But what you've got to bear in mind is this grammage, you know, you don't really want to be getting buying lures that are heavier than that. You know, some um, metals, if you decide if you decide to use metals, could be heavier. You've got to be careful. You know, do you know what I mean? You could go a little bit heavier as a as a newbie, really. As for length, look, it's eight foot eight. Pretty pretty good. Mine's about I think it's about nine and a half foot nine foot six. I think mine is. So that's perfect. Specialist. Specialist surface lure rod. Oh no, I never noticed that. Fast action means it's probably going to cast pretty well. Remember, it's only bloody forty quid. Do you know what I mean? Mine's mine's still over. Um, probably going to be. It would have been about one hundred and thirty, one hundred and thirty quid, I suppose. So that's the first rod. That's the H two O um. Glide walker looks pretty good. Looks pretty good to me. Right, what else we got here? Let's have a look. Right, um. Okay, my uh, a lot of pen lab bricks. Have a look. Sorry, out of stock. Right, well, that's no good. Don't want that one. Right, have a look down here. Abu Venerit. I know I've already looked at these, they haven't got them at all. They're out of stock, out of stock, out of stock, out of stock. But this one, I know it isn't because I looked earlier. Right, £37.99. Let's have a look at it. 10 to 35 grand. Now that could be um, that could be all right. Now, whether it's any good or not, I don't know. But if you're a total beginner, it'd be perfect, I think. Perfect if you'd start eight foot, maybe a bit shorter than what I would like, but it's still all right. Two sections, 24 ton graphics, whatever all that bloody thing was. See, it hasn't got a, what an action rating on that, so... You know, I don't know, but 10 to 35 grams, that's pretty, pretty, pretty good. Right, let's just have another little quick little browse. Right, so that's about, we say we've got that for, spent 40 quid so far. Right, let's have a little bit further up the line. Right now it's getting to these uh, 50 quid. Let's just have to see, right, a Sonic. Is it going to be, uh, oh, that's a travel rod. Yeah, travel rod. We're not going to go to travel rods. Probably out of stock anyway. Right, uh, a little bit further up, yeah, no, we don't want any of these. What's that, an ugly stick? Um, a Daiwa, Ninja Spin, a Daiwa. Good, mate, let's have a little look, shall we? Let's have a look. Oh, this is going to be the bigger one. Sorry, uh, stop. What I can't get over is why have it on the bloody website if you haven't fucking gone? God, it pisses me off. What's the point? Sorry, uh, stop, another one. Jesus Christ, right. If I'm... If I find one more like that, I'm coming off of here. Sorry, out of stock. Right, we're going to someone else. Right, lure fishing for bass. Let's have a look at them. I think they pretty much take them off of, off of here if they're out of stock. Hopefully. Please don't prove me wrong. For God's sake. Embarrassing. I must have gone through about 15 rods before I went. Not only cheap ones. Right. Now, Nebula. Now, now if you look at the prices, see, we're coming up a bit now. Because this is more... This is specifically... For lure fishing this website do you know what i mean everything it's all about the lures this is probably probably my go-to website out of the lot but um not for rods for lures that's that's why what i would get from here because obviously i've got my rod i've got the same rod right so we are pretty much out of our uh comfort zone here aren't we let's have a little look at let's go lure by cost let's have a look right Less than fifth, we go fifty to a hundred. Oh, look! Oh, fifty to a hundred. Major craft. Now that's see, my Zolts is a major craft. They're all ninety nine pounds. Now we could, mm, we're going to be pushing it. So let's go back and see if they've got anything for under fifty quid, because it did say that, didn't it? Less than fifty pounds, right? Bugger all, right? So that pretty much. Um, Pretty much knocks that one out of the park. Let's have a quick little little look at the reels because we've got we've got a rod that we've already um, we've already uh, seen on reels that we could get right now. Let's have a look now. No, let's look at price again. Look rods reels by by cost. Now let's have a look. Less than fifty quid. Nothing. All right. This is going brilliantly, isn't it? If you went on eBay, 
Right, rods, no good. We're not going to go for rods here. Right, we're going to go to now. We're going to go to Amazon. Right, let's go lure rods for fifty less than fifty pounds. Lure rods for less than fifty pounds. Right, fifty pounds. Oh shit, I didn't put that in there, did I? God, this is proving hard work. Oh, right, let's have a little look down there. Oh, they look quite good little lures. Well, 18 pounds, who makes them? Dr. Fish. <laughs> Never heard of them. Oh, it's probably, it'll probably get about six. Right, oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. Ah, what's this one? H2O Glide Walker. That's, we've had this one come up already. H2O Glide Walker. Select size, right, look at that, 12 to 42 grams. Bob's your uncle. There it is. But H2O is, we're on the, H2O is our rod of the moment. So my number one choice for a beginner, even though I've never used it, is H2O Glide Walker, which was actually on the other, on the other thing. When that's, that's the uh, 12 to 42 gram, which is, to me, is bang on. Right, so that's the rod sorted out. Now, as for the reel, we could go for reels, lure reels less than fifty pounds. Let's have a look on Amazon first, because they're probably going to be out of stock on the other. Well, we couldn't find one on there anyway. Right, not them ones. Right, we don't want two reels for sixteen quid. They are probably going to be proper shit. Right, um, they're so cheap. Crikey, what's this? A pixie fun? Seven quid. It actually looks pretty bloody good. Do you know what I mean? Pretty, pretty good. Abu Garcia, forty-five pound. You know, back in the day, bloody Abu Garcias were pretty good. It's all changed Shimano now. You know, right? We haven't got what. Well, actually, what I use, I use the uh, Cast King Sharky Three. Let's see if we can find it on eBay quickly for you. And that's about 40 or quid, but I know that, that's cheap for a real. That is bloody good, I tell you. Right, let's go. Cast King. Sharky. Three. Even though it's three dots. Let's have a little look. There she is, eh? Here, here look. Perfect. It's going to come from Hong Kong. It's going to come from Hong Kong. But 4,000, remember? Select red. Is there another colour? No, just red. That is the same as my reel. That is what I've been using. I've also got a dial as well. It was only less than 50 quid. So we are looking at... Um, how much is that? Fifty nine US dollars. We we'll say fifty. We we'll say fifty quid. So we're up to ninety pounds so far. So that's your rod and your reel sorted out. Next thing is braid. Now, braid. Let's go for twenty pound braid for lure fishing, shall we? In here, twenty pound. Now I use Amazon basically because I'm an, an Amazon Prime. Uh, 20 pound braid fishing line all right i am amazon prime and they tend to get it for you the next day which is absolutely brilliant now jesus look at these super power look five pound jesus right ultima power braid what breaking strain is that i would go for something a bit decent so Personally, I'd go for something like that. Whether it's any good or not, but if you're going to be paying that much money, you could get you could get J Braid for that. Let's have a look. J Braid. J Braid. That's probably twenty thousand meters of that. J Braid. Can't you can't go wrong with J Braid. It's one of my favourite lines. All right. Have a look. Right, here we are. Oh, 30 quid. Oh, Jesus. 
Jay Bray 30. Well, considering we've only spent £90 so far, look, Jay Bray, £24. It's, 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 I think it's good to have decent lines, you know what I mean? Let's have a little look, shall we? Right, select. I haven't got it. Back we go. Back we go, I said. Ah, 150 yards. Right, J Braid, select size. We want, we'll say, 20 pound line. And then 20 pound line, 15, 16 pounds, say. So now we're up to 116 pounds. I'm going to be going to my um, my go-to uh, lure provider, which is lurefishingbass.co.uk. Now, uh, you, you don't have to do what I say. I'm only giving you advice, because obviously if you're newbies, you, you probably wouldn't have a clue. Right, the first we're going to get, obviously, the categories. We'll go through the categories. Right, the first one is that we obviously want a surface lure in our arsenal of lures. Now, I've gone straight for a Pachenko 2. You can, there's loads of others. I mean, there's loads of choices as far as lures are concerned. Now, these two, these are the biggest ones out of the lot, so they're going to cast quite well. With the lure rod that you would have got, if you would have got the one that I recommended, the HTO, it would, you know, it's easily going to fall in that uh, the weight parameter with that rod. So this is quite a heavy lure, but still easy, good enough. For, you know, you'll easily be able to use it with that rod. I would personally go for the RG out of the two, or the 500G or the RG. I mean, they might be pretty good too, but I've had experience with both of them. And that one, that colour, whether it's good in, in the um, Pachenko uh, style is another thing. But I've had that style in the Austria, and that's been one of my favourite lures. But unfortunately, you can't get that. With as so many lures at the moment, there seems to be a massive problem in uh, getting them. So that's another uh, twenty pounds on. I think the five hundred G is still a great pattern. I'll tell you honestly, it is. Right, so that's another twenty pounds on the old tally. So twenty pounds. Right, 20 pounds plus. Right, next one is we're going to go subsurface. Now, there's obviously the other categories are like medium divers, deep divers, and sinking lures, but I'm not going to recommend any of them. I'm going to go for two subsurface because you don't want to be risking losing lures, especially like, but I've got deep divers and things, but if you're, you know, if you don't really know your ground, you don't really know what you're doing, if it's chance you're going to lose them, you don't want to be losing them. You can have a pretty empty lure bag <laughs> if you're only going to take these ones home if you if you do things wrong. So let's look at the next one. The next one is the IMA Kimono 2. Well, there's loads of others, loads of others on this website. But unfortunately, again, your uh, variety, this is the variety we've got. Now, normally, my favourites are the Joker and the Chameleon and, and maybe the Mullet. And obviously, you can't see them there. But however... If my mullets or cotton candy lures get a bit scuffed or the paint starts coming off, I normally spray them white anyway. And that's a bloody white is a killer colour, just plain white. And there's also a silvery one here. So you can choose between the two of them if you like. So that's going to be my choice. The others might be good. I'm not actually using That's a flashing plate as well, that one. So that's uh, like the same sort of style as the Chameleon and the Joker. But we'll go for one of them too. So that's another £20 on the old, uh, on the old um, tally. £20 plus. Right, and the next one is going to be... Uh, what's the next lure? I can't remember what we went for. Oh, yeah, it's going to be an Apia. Apia? Apia? Whatever you want to call it. Apia Dover. I've actually got that one. So... Whatever pattern you choose is up to you. I like the look of that one as well. That uh, Iowashi, they're uh, £21. That's been my second subsurface lure, my choice. For this website, there's loads of other lures, tackle house feed shallows, but try getting them without getting ripped off is another thing. I must be a mega, mega shortage. I'm sure they'd have them on here if they, if they could, definitely, you know. They're not stupid. They know what people like. All right, so that's... £21 pounds plus oh, 177 right? Now the next one, we're going to go for um, some soft plastics. We're going to go for uh, Savage Gear Reels. Now I've already found these because these are another one. Blimey, it's hard to get older. But the reason why I picked this is because you've got four. And if you're just starting, 
that's that's quite um Actually, they're not Savage Gear sandals. They're not by Savage Gear, but they still look pretty good to me. If you just start, I don't, there's hardly any difference as far as I'm concerned. And you're getting four for £6.99 for seven quid. So that's my thing. Don't forget, I'll leave all the irrelevant links below. So that's another £7 plus seven dot boing boing. What are we are now? 184. Jeez. Right, next one we're going to go for another, uh, we're going to go for a weedless type lure. The reason you get four lures in here, so if you lose any of them other lures, you've still you've got a little bit of a, you've nearly got a bit of a tackle bag going on here, nearly a little bit of a lure box. Right, where are they? Let's have a look. Right, pirate lures. Remember, there's loads and loads and loads of other mates. These are just mates that I'm quite familiar with, even though we haven't got much variety. Again, they seem to be a bit hard to get hold of. The people have seemed to have wiped them out. Now, here they are. The Pirate Lures, the Teaser, brilliant, and the Seducer. So either one of them you could use. Obviously, the difference is that's got a paddle tail. That one hasn't, but that's been a good lure. Pure white I've had in that one. Like I said, the Kimono too, white. It's been a really good lure. Um, so that's another, they're both eight pounds. So we just we say one, you choose whatever one you want. You get four of them in a pack, remember, as well. So that's another eight pounds plus eight boing 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 equals 192. Jesus Christ, we're running out of money. God, I'm sweating now. All right. Right, the next thing is, uh, right, we want something for the actual lures to go on to, so we're gonna get some clips. I've already got them ready because otherwise I'd be fishing around for ages trying to find them again on here and it, you know, I had to look. Right, breakaway clips, two pounds. Marvellous, perfect, easiest ones out the lot as well. I've had other ones that have been pretty good, but sometimes at night time you can't see what you're doing. Pain in the bloody ass. Right, okay, so that's plus two pounds. Not 200. If I rub that calculator off, I think I'll throw my computer through the wall because I've done it about 10 times. Right, and last but not least, we want something to tie from the breakaway, from the breakaway link to our braid. So we need some fluorocarbon. I've already got it ready. You can check there's probably thousands of different types of, uh, of um fluorocarbon this is the one we're going for five pound fifty hundred meters twenty pound probably perfect you could go a little bit heavier if you wanted but twenty pounds to me is is pretty much on the money so let's go back to the calculator again so that's five pound fifty plus five point five oh equals 199 pounds 50 pence now that is your uh beginner's ultimate beginners um package to get you up and running remember there's no waders or anything like that that's an that's that's another scenario anyway thanks for um watching right so that just about uh wraps up that little bit of shopping speech that's bloody hard work sorting that out i must have spent all day looking you know checking before it because there's nothing worse than looking for something you can't you know they bloody haven't got it i mean it's it's quite annoying. I mean, uh, I think, like I said in the video, this um, this some of the th a lot of the lures are really, really being hard, really getting hard to get hold of now. Do you know what I mean? There's still bloody loads, but we we get a bit set in our ways. Such a lure fisherman, you know what I mean? Anyway, apart from that, obviously, before you go out and buy all your fishing uh, <clears throat> rods and reels and that. The most important thing is that you you take your your own safety into consideration. If you've not been fishing before, do you know. It's uh, that sea can be a dangerous old place, you know. You, especially like fishing off the rocks, and you know where a lot of the lure fishing takes place. I mean, on the sand, I suppose you're all right. You know, we mentioned waders, but you know, I wouldn't recommend going in the water straight away. You know what I mean, wading out in the water, or if you do, really make sure that you um, check where you're fishing, and you know, know the tides, and you know really take things like that into consideration because it can be a dangerous old place it's much more you know it, it's much better to invest money in your in your own safety first before you go out and buy any fishing gear or or stay at home otherwise because you know anyway don't forget to uh subscribe to the channel um any comments anything you want to talk about ask it here or even on the facebook group now because i'm sure there'll be 
plenty of experts on there, trust me, I bet there is, who can also uh, advise you, especially on equipment and things like that, or even safety. So it's really important. So anyway, thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video. What it's going to be about, who knows?